Coming up on the SPFL's official YouTube channel, the best of the action from League Two, including some incredible action at Butter Briggs. A point for the league leaders. And Queen's share the spoils at Hamden. Peter Head were too strong for Elgin and Borough Briggs. The visitors were ahead in the 21st minute when Andy Rogers scored from the edge of the six yard area. A quick break which caught out the city rear guard and Rogers just managed to get the ball ahead of a couple of defenders. In the right place at the right time and that final touch so decisive. The second goal at the start of the second half was a classic route one stuff. A long clearance from keeper Graham Smith was expertly finished by Rory McAllister. It was a huge kick from the Peterhead number one, and McAllister loved city keeper Raymond Gilemma, who was off his line. The third goal came straight from the restart, and it was a nightmare at the back for Elgin. Peter Head won back the ball quickly and Rory McAllister drove the ball into the bottom corner. Just moments after conceding the second goal, the Elgin defence had gifted Peter Head a third and ruined any chance of a comeback. Jim McAnally's men were flying by this stage and it was no surprise to see them add a fourth goal in the 52nd minute. Another special strike, this time from Dean Cowie after Raymond Gilemma headed clear at the edge of the area. The keeper was stranded way off his line, and Cowie's incredible opportunistic volley from all of 40 yards was well on target. A shell-shocked Elgin managed a late response. First of all, Craig Gunn made it 4-1 five minutes from time. Claims of offside from the Peterhead defence, but referee Colin Stephen wasn't interested, and Gunn had pulled the goal back. Surely little more than a consolation, but still a fine finish. Elgin gave the scoreline a degree of respectability with a second goal right at the end of the game when Sam Urquhart looked a header over Graham Smith. All three points were heading back to Peter Head though, and the result moved them up to fifth in the table. League two leaders East Stillingshire came from behind to claim a point against local rivals Stirling Albion at Oakle View. Jordan White certainly had an eventful afternoon for the Vinos. First of all, he fired them into the lead from the six yard area on the half hour mark. The cross from the left wasn't cut out and White was first to the ball. The striker had the dubious honor of scoring at the other end three minutes before half time to level the match. White was trying to clear the corner, but only succeeded in powering a header past his own keeper, David Crawford. Remarkably though, White made amends when he put his side back in front on the stroke of half-time. A wonderful individual goal as he drove towards the Shire area, lifting the ball over keeper Grant Hay. A lovely finish for his seventh goal of the season. 2-1 to Albion at half-time, East Stirlingshire's equaliser came from a corner in the 72nd minute. Jamie Glasgow swung the ball in and Michael Bolshevecki managed to glance the ball over David Crawford. Whether or not he meant to find the far corner of the net is up for debate, but the goal earned the league leaders a hard-fought point. Bottom side, Queen's Park rescued a point against Clyde with a goal in the last minute at Hamden. They'd fallen behind to a goal 12 minutes into the second half when Stuart McComb was set up by Scott Ferguson.
It looked like a trip just outside the area, but referee Gavin Duncan played the advantage and Clyde forged ahead. The match was an injury time when Gardner Spears side snatched a point. Queen's Park were throwing everything forward in the hope of a late goal, and that's exactly what they got when Blair Spittle converted James Bruff's cutback. Both sides had to settle for a point. Queen's Park stay bottom, while Clyde remain in the playoff places. It finished at Hamden. Queen's Park won, Clyde won. Here's how the fixtures look in the championship this weekend. Alloa host Wraith Rovers. Leaders Hamilton are at Cowden Beath. Dundee take on Falkirk at Dens Park. Livingston are at home to Dumbarton. And in Dumfries, it's Queen of the South versus bottom side Morton. In League One, Airdrie take on Dunfermline, Air United travel to Brecon, East Fife welcomes Stranraer to New Bay View, and in Oakleview, it's Stenhouse Muir or Bro. Finally, in League Two, Annan take on Berwick at Gala Bank, Elgin travel to face Jim Duffy's Clyde, Montrose host Albion Rovers, Peter Heder at home to East Stirlingshire, and at Fourth Bank, Queen's Park are the visitors to face Stirling Albion. Watch out for the best of the action from these matches next time on the SPFL's official YouTube channel.